Hello, sports fan. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, we're going to talk about Tony La Russa. Only because it's an unavoidable subject. I was hoping not to have to make this video, but um, it's getting so much traction everywhere that I figured, okay, I better throw my hat into the ring and talk about it. So, as you well know by now, Tony La Russa is be has been charged with a DUI um, from a uh, uh, an impaired driving incident which occurred I believe back in February time to pay the fiddler maybe February where he was driving home from a party with some friends or a get-together with friends and he had been drinking and he I don't know crashed his car I heard he crashed his car into a curb. I don't know how you crash your car into a curb, but anyway. Um, so anyway, uh, he's being charged with DUI in connection with that incident. Um, and the uh, it's getting a lot of, uh, it's getting the sports news networks and um, information machine are just really eating it up so um, one thing I do know though from what I've read is that Reinsdorf knew about the incident he knew about the incident he had La Russa hadn't been charged yet but he knew about the incident when he offered him the position as manager of the White Sox for 2020 <laughs> oh wait you're serious so Reinsdorf knew about it so there's a lot of speculation out there that that he's going to lose his position and that this agreement, the White Sox are going to nullify the agreement because of the uh, charges. I think that's unlikely. The first reason that I think it's unlikely is what I just said. Reinsdorf knew about it when he interviewed him. And he's always regretted um, firing him in the first place and always thought about getting him back. So I don't think that it's going to be... The White Sox aren't going to do anything about it. I mean, I don't know if they'll... You know, maybe they'll suspend him, tell him he has to... I don't know. They'll suspend him maybe for the first week of the season or the first five games. I don't know. But they're not going to... I, I doubt they're going to fire him or tell him, no, we're going to go back on the agreement, we're going to find somebody else. I don't see that happening. Major League Baseball, I don't see doing much about it either, because Major League Baseball, historically in the past, has not really come down too, um, uh, too har harshly on DUIs. There are things that they will deal with, like drugs, you know, the performance enhancing drug situation, things like that. But um, DUIs, it's not, they don't have a strong history of dealing with, with stuff like that. So my personal opinion in all of this is that, oh, and one other reason that the White Sox aren't going to get rid of him is because they passed on A.J. Hinch. Who's now in Detroit? So, and they passed on Cora, who is now back in Boston. So, I don't see them doing any, I don't see the White Sox doing anything about it. And if Major League Baseball, again, kind of the same thing as maybe the White Sox, if they do anything about it, they'll suspend him for a week into the season, something like that. You know, just a slap on the wrist. So, that's my take on the subject. I mean, again, you know I was lukewarm about them hiring him in the first place. Of course, I didn't know that he, you know, 
ran his car into a curb after a night out with friends, but um, I'm, I still wasn't a big fan of hiring a 76-year-old manager, third oldest in Major League Baseball history. So, yeah, I mean, that's my take. The White Sox aren't going to do maybe anything about it, and Major League Baseball will give him, maybe give him a slap on the wrist, if anything. So I don't see much coming of it, but the press is making a huge deal of it. Like it's, you know, like he went out and killed somebody. So I don't know. I mean, that's the only reason I'm even doing the video because I didn't think it was a big deal. I was like, all right, he's got a DUI, but you know. So what do you guys think? Do you think uh, the White Sox should do anything about it? Do you think they will do anything about it? Do you think Major League Baseball will do anything about it? Again, I really don't. I don't think much is going to come of this. I think this is mainly the press just making a mountain out of a molehill. I, but I guess we'll find out. But if the White Sox wanted to back out of the deal, they already would have. So that's my take. That's my two cents. So uh, let me know what you think. Comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you want to see something else, you want to see me talk about anything else, hey, fine. You want to see anything else on the channel, sports related, hey, yeah, let me know. But if you don't, then hey, that's it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.